Hey guys, my name is Reese Sutterth, and today I'll be introducing you to Mia Sofker. Mia has been my locker buddy for all of our high school careers, and I have never been happier. She always flashes me a smile and puts a smile on my face without me even knowing. When we all say that this is the, nice, this is the nicest person, or this is the somethingest person, we mean it, but do we believe it? This... <laughs> Here's a factual truth that we can all agree to. Mia is the most well-rounded person you could ever know. I am always surprised by her. She played soccer for a while. She does track or some sport I will never know of. She's an incredible artist, incredibly smart, and so talented. I mean, one day in ALAP, she just sat down and randomly started playing the Beatles on the piano. I was shocked and pleasantly surprised, but of course, Mia could do this. She could do everything. She also tried, to, tried out for multiple plays aside from her already busy schedule. Now, whatever wisdom she shall impart today will surely rock you in your pews. So give it up for Mia Francis Sofker. Now look, Mia, look at all of them. For me, growing up in Miami meant staying in close contact with the warm sun and the cool wind. Long bike rides were a common family outing for my family of six. My little sister, Paulina, and I were loaded into car seats on the back of my parents' bikes, while my older sister and brother, Abigail and Walter, filled the gap between my parents, one as the leader of the pack and one as the caboose. For Paulina and me, these bike rides were constantly a breeze of cruising along while the rest of our family sweated through the activity. But something that constantly brought us smiles and joy was a bridge that rested over a strip of the Key Biscayne Bay. The best part of our bridge was the amazing, sh amazing show we were given every time we looked over the ledge. A number of manatees slowly moved through that stream every day. You can never go over the bridge without seeing at least one. What's your favorite animal? A question that most people expect a, a child to answer with a fierce or adorable animal. Maybe a dog, maybe a cheetah or a lion, but mine? A manatee. <laughs> I found comfort and love in my everyday interactions with manatees of Cocoa Plum Circle. They felt like friends. They were there every morning to greet me on my way to school and every evening before dinner. I've always wanted to be a manatee. Wait, let me rephrase. I've always wanted and strived to live the lifestyles that manatees portray. So here are a few things we could learn from my special friends. Number one, while they are calm and gentle animals, they're also as intelligent as, as dolphins. They're capable of, comp capable of complex social behaviors and have excellent memories, allowing them to remember food sources and navigate complex waterways. However, unlike dolphins, manatees are not hunters. They actually are the only marine mammals who are vegetarians. So manatees are known for their peaceful and gentle nature. They are not aggressive towards humans or other animals and are generally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures in the ocean. When everything around us feels heated, it is really hard to remember to remain calm and gentle. Sometimes we have to practice the kind of cooperation and harmony that we would like to see in our own societies, just like manatees do. Also, their intelligence highlights the importance of val valuing knowledge and creativity in our own societies and seeking to nurture these qualities in future generations. Number two, manatees can live in both fresh and salt water because their bodies have the unique ability to process salt. However, they are still susceptible to dying from the cold. Like manatees, humans also have the unique ability to adapt to different environments and challenges in life. Just as manatees have the ability to thrive in both fresh and salt water, humans also have the, cap the capacity to adapt and overcome obstacles. However, just as manatees are sus still susceptible to the dangers of the cold, humans are also vulnerable to the challenges that life throws our way. This highlights the importance of recognizing and embracing our own resilient, resilience while also being mindful of our limitations and vulnerabilities. By embracing this balance, we can continue to grow and evolve and su succeed despite the challenges that come our way. Number three, manatees are highly social animals. They form tight-knit groups and are often seen swimming and playing together. This social behavior is a reminder of the importance of strong social bonds and the positive impact that community and cooperation can have on our lives. Number four, manatees never leave the water, but typically come up for air every five minutes. But depending on their level of activity, when it is resting, they can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes. When they are exerting great amounts of energy, a manatee may surface as often as every 30 seconds. Like manatees, humans also need to come up for air, so to speak, in order to recharge our batteries. Our level of acti activity in life, both physically and mentally, affects how often we need to take a break and rejuvenate. 
Just as manatees surface for air more frequently when they are exerting a lot of energy, we too may need to take more frequent breaks when we are pushing ourselves hard in our personal and academic lives. Number five, manatees are also known for their love of nature. They spend much of their time grazing on sea grasses and other aquatic plants, and they play an important role in maintaining the delicate balance of the ocean ecosystem. This love of nature is a reminder of the importance of preserving our own natural environment and respecting the interconnectedness of all living things. Number six, manatees eat more than a tenth of their weight in food every day. This serves as a reminder that just as manatees cannot survive on small or inadequate amount of food, humans also need to take care to consume enough of the right types of food in order to thrive. As a St. Mary's girl, I know we all love food, but manatees remind us that we shouldn't feel guilty about doing so. Number seven, hundreds of years ago, sailors mistook manatees for mermaids. Just like the sailors, people often mistake the true nature of others. The outward appearance of someone or rumors may lead us to believe certain things about them, but the reality can be far from what we expect. Just like the gentle, slow-moving manatee was mistaken for the mythical, alluring mermaid, people are often judged based on their physical appearance or societal status rather than their character and inner qualities. So with all of that to say, manatees are fascinating creatures that, we have much, that have much to teach us about the kind of world we would like to live in. Their peaceful and gentle nature, intelligence, and love for the environment are all qualities that we should strive to emulate in our own lives. By being more like manatees, we can help to build a better and more harmonious world. I would like to end this speech by thanking the people who have been there for me through thick and thin. To my family, you are the ones who have been my rock, my support system, and my manatees. Your love and support have been instrumental in bringing me to where I am today, and for that, I will always be grateful. Thank you for being a part of my life and for making it so much richer. I love you all. Thank you.